outside. Hi, planty people. Welcome back to my channel, Steady As She Grows. I have a really exciting video for you today. I'm gonna to be doing a cooking video. Can you believe it? I'm really excited and a little terrified because I've never cooked this dish before, let alone have eaten this dish before. I will be making eggplant parmigiana slash zucchini parmigiana. I figured since I have so much of both, might as well use both. So I just came from the garden and picked some goodies. I'll show you. I'm sure you've already seen. But we got some eggplant. And I have plenty more eggplant over there um, that I can use. I picked some Malabar spinach I'm gonna dice up and put that in it as well. As well as some zucchini squash from the garden. And some basil from the garden. So I'm really excited. So um, here we go. I've already preheated my oven to 375. I have a convection oven, so it has a heating element with a fan that kind of blows the air around. So um, it's always 25 degrees hotter. So um, I set it for 375, so it brings it down to 350. So if you don't have a convection oven, then just put your oven at 375. Um, and what we need to do now is I believe I need to clean up these vegetables. I've watched a few different videos on YouTube about how to make eggplant parmigiana. And some people soak their eggplant in salt water. Some people microwave it to kind of evaporate some of the water in it. Um, I think I'm going to microwave it. I also saw on the Rachel Ray show, she had a guest that was making an eggplant dish. And they said, always microwave your eggplant because it evaporates some of the water in it. So it's faster than soaking it. Um, so I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna clean these up and slice these up and pop these in the microwave for like a minute or so. so hang with me. Alrighty, we got a cutting board. Cutting board. Every gardener needs a compost pail in the kitchen. Okay, so this one looks like it had a little hole in it, but it's okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slice off the ends and I'm gonna slice these lengthwise like this. Look at this beautiful egg, Chinese eggplant. Isn't that beautiful? All right, oh, I'm gonna need another little dish to store all this. This will work. It feels so weird doing a cooking video, considering I grew up watching cooking videos with my dad. He used to watch the, um, the Frugal Gourmet. I think that was like on KCET Channel 28. He used to love the Frugal Gourmet and he used to try to make those recipes all the time when we were kids. He was a very good cook. My mom's a good cook too, but my dad was an excellent cook. When times were tough, we always had food. They could literally make something out of nothing. The cupboards would be bare and they would come up with these amazing dishes. fruity smell. It's very fresh. And like I said, I have never eaten eggplant before in my life until I started to grow it. And I've learned I really, really like it. It's starting to turn like a little brown as they are cut open. I guess oxidation, like how an avocado turns brown. Okay, we're gonna 
gonna slice up my a couple more zucchini. I'm um, sorry, a couple more eggplants to slice it. And if I need more, I have plenty more. Now I watch a lot of YouTube videos and a lot on cooking and I was looking at recipes for eggplant parmigiana and I came across one from the Italian grandma. She has a, a recipe on her um, YouTube channel that this is similar to hers except I'm going to be adding some zucchini and she uses the regular big eggplants like the fat ones and I'm using these kind. Um, she coats hers in flour and then in egg and just fries it like that. She doesn't add any breadcrumbs. I will be adding breadcrumbs just because I want them really crunchy. So this one here, I'm cut a little end. And I've had chicken parmesan before, but I've never had eggplant parmesan. Okay, let's see here. Let's do these ones. so good. The garden is really producing right now so that's super cool. But still waiting for the dang tomatoes. They're taking forever. But I did see a lot of them starting to turn red this week so maybe tomorrow I'll have quite a few red ones to pick. I did see some really pretty red ones when I was out picking some of the eggplant right now so can't wait to pick those tomorrow. So let's see, this one, I think I'm gonna cut into discs since it's so fat. So this is almost gonna be like a vegetable lasagna, but with no meat. I thought about cooking up some Italian sausage and putting it in here but I don't want to take away from the flavor of the vegetables. So my family, they're really big meat eaters in this house. So they're probably going to be like, why is there no meat in this thing? But, oh well. I could probably just tell them there is. They might not even notice. talking about making um, some fried zucchini. I got an air fryer for my birthday last year, a really big one, and I maybe used it once. So I thought that would be kind of cool to try, make some fried zucchini in the air fryer. So that might be our next video. I really enjoy doing these videos for you guys. It also kind of helps me, you know, like, History-wise, like where my garden was last year and the year before, helps me keep track of things. If I wonder where, when something was planted, I can look back at my videos and see when I planted it. And then it just kind of evolved into a little bit of this and a little bit of that. All right, I think that should be good. So I'm gonna keep these here while I zap the eggplant in the microwave. I think I'm going to do that instead of salting it. So let me just make sure these are all face up. I guess it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to zap this for like a minute and a half and see what happens. Okay. Well, that is in the microwave. I am going to get my stuff ready to flour and breadcrumb everything. So I'm gonna move this out of the way for a minute. Montreal steak seasoning. I put this stuff on everything. It is so delicious. It has pepper, garlic, um, what else? Paprika. It tastes a lot of different spices in here though. 
My drawers are a mess. Are your drawers a mess at home? You just kind of shove things everywhere. Oh, I do. That's a fine seasoning. I will add that because I didn't buy the regular breadcrumbs. I bought panko. I wasn't paying attention, I don't think. But I do like panko, but they're not seasoned, so we're going to need to season this a little bit. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball everything and put some breadcrumbs in there. And I'm going to add some of this Italian seasoning. Now, if you buy the breadcrumbs that already have seasoning in them, you won't need to add anything to it. those garbage bowl things like Rachel Ray always uses. <laughs> you know what? I'll use a basket. I'm going to take it out to the trash later. I'll just put it down here. Okay. So the breadcrumbs. I already have put flour in here. Just eyeballed it. I need to put the eggs in here. I got three eggs. And yes, eggs can go right in your compost. They break down over time. I used to rinse them out, but I saw a lot of other YouTubers that are like, just throw them in. I'm like, okay. <laughs> More protein for the soil. Okay. Let me get a paper towel because I made a mess with the webble. spinach is a very thick plump leaf and it's kind of slimy. I wouldn't say slimy. I don't want the word slimy to scare you away from trying Malabar spinach. It's it's just a thick leaf. I like it. A little gelatinous. I love saying the word gelatinous. It's just funny to say. <laughs> but it's good. I really like it. I didn't eat it a whole lot um, the last time I grew it. It got aphids and I didn't really care for it very well. Not that it needs a whole lot of care, but I just, I don't know, I just didn't want to eat it. Once I saw aphids on it, I'm like, I'm done. Um, I could have blasted them off and sprayed them with a spray, but it's a leaf. It's not like I'm spraying leaves and eating a vegetable. You know, I'd actually be eating the leaves, so I didn't want to spray it with anything, so I just left it alone. So the three little seedlings that I transplanted into that pot are doing really well, and they look really healthy. There's really no bug damage on it. I mean, there's a few little holes. The holes aren't going to bother me. I didn't see any bugs on it at all. It could have been a bird. Um, who knows? Who knows? But they looked fine, so I'm going to chop these up. Let's see. Ooh, it's really crunchy. I like that sound. <laughs> All right. That looks good. Good way to get your family to eat their vegetables. You know what? I'm going to put these right here for you now. There's a little water in here. I'm going to put these in here. 
I love when your appliances sing to you, don't you? <laughs> All these new appliances that I got, um, well it was a year in November we remodeled the kitchen and um, we got new appliances and they all sing to you. It's kind of nice. Okay. This is good. Ooh, that plate's hot. Let these cool off for a little bit. They turned a little brown, as you can see, but that's quite all right. Let those cool off for a little bit. And they're really soft. I think that's what we want is the softness, not so much the firmness, which means some of the eggplant, the moisture, the water in it has evaporated away because they do carry a lot of water. So this is basil. Now my basil has already gone to seed. It started producing flowers. And usually when basil plants start to flower, which means they're getting ready to put out their seeds, the flavor changes a little bit, kind of bitter, Sometimes the leaves get a little tougher, but um, this one seems to be doing okay. I've never really had that issue. Even when my basil has flowered, they always seem to stay very flavorful. Maybe a little tougher than normal when they're smaller and younger, but um, if you're cooking them, it's no big deal. There we go. Oh, this basil smells so good though. And I'm hoping by trimming off these stems, it'll produce more shoots, more young tender shoots. That's what we hope anyway, right? It was so hot today in SoCal. This whole week we've had like a heat wave. It's been really hot. So we've been running our air conditioning and um, all I hear are cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching coming out of the air vents. <laughs> it's so expensive to run your air. The electricity here is just crazy. But what are you gonna do? We tried to see if we can, you know, push through it one day when it was, I believe like 90 outside. Oh my God, it, we were miserable, we were dying. And the kids were like, mom, it's so hot. Turn on the air. And I'm like, it's already eight o'clock. Can we just put the fans on for now? And I promise to run it tomorrow. And that's what we did, but just not running it. Oh my God, this house gets so hot. It was built in the fifties. And um, there isn't a lot of insulation. Like we have hardwood floors and there is no insulation under the house at all. So the heat and the cold in the winter just comes through the floor or escapes through the floor and we lose a lot of air. So we have to run the air constantly just to maintain the temperature in the house. Kind of crazy. But we plan on moving someday. And by someday, I mean like in a couple of years. After my son graduates high school, the plan is to sell our house and move out of state. Now, what state? I have no idea. I would love to move to Oregon, where it's green and beautiful, and they actually have rain and seasons, but it's gotten very expensive up there. So, I don't know if that will be an option for us. I'm also looking into Tennessee. Um, I heard Tennessee is just beautiful, but that's just so far away. I'm a West Coaster, you know? <laughs> I don't know if I can do that. My family's all here, so we'll see. Someday to dream. It's nice to have something to look forward to, and I'm really looking forward to that. That's something I really, really want to do. All right, all this basil looks like it's chopped up. And I'm just gonna sprinkle this in when we're ready. So, you know what, I'll just put this together with the spinach. Why not? It's all going in the same pot. All right, messy, messy, messy. When you cook, do you make a mess? I make a disaster when I cook, really I do. So I'm gonna try not to mess up my clean kitchen.
and I normally don't do dishes. My husband does the dishes, so that's always kind of nice. I cook, he does the dishes, but lately he's been slacking. And I hope you heard me, Eric. <laughs> Okay, so now let me make sure we have everything ready. Oh my gosh, the fork fell into the wobble. It's fine. Okay, we got the egg, the flour, and the breadcrumbs. Now is this the order that it needs to go in? I am not quite sure, because I think I'm gonna go this way. So I think it needs to go into the flour first, and then the egg and then the bread crumbs. I believe that's it. And then I'm gonna put this to the side. So, and I'm gonna need another pan. Thank you guys for bearing with me as I do my first ever cooking tutorial. I don't know what you call it. Oh, I should have put all the stems in here. Why didn't I? Compost. Alright. So, my eggplant. Oh, I was going to add some of this to the breadcrumbs. I love this stuff, man. It's good on steaks, chicken, on your vegetables, everything. Oh, and while this is, um, while I'm doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and start to preheat my oil in the pan for frying. So, got my vegetable oil, and like I said, I'm just gonna eyeball it. Actually, I'm gonna use this burner right here. Oops, run up. There you go. You probably want about an inch of oil. Vegetable oil is cheap. Alright. Now, the Italian grandma, she makes her sauce from scratch. And I probably could if I had more time, but I'm not going to for this video. I'm just going to use store bought jarred sauce to make it easy peasy. So, um, sorry if you were expecting something a little authentic. I'm Mexican. What do you want from me? <laughs> Alright, eggplant in the flour. You know what? I'm gonna get some tongs. Hang on. Alrighty. Eggplant is in the flour. In the egg. Coat that nicely. In the breadcrumbs. Sorry, I moved things around a little bit so everything could stay in frame. Um, so, eggplant needs to get nice and floured. I'm actually going to do a double, a double dip, I think. The egg isn't sticking to the flour on this eggplant. I think I'm going to do a double. Make sure everything gets nice and coated. <coughs> oh my god. You ever choke on your own spit? I don't think these tongs are doing the trick. I think I need like a fork. I'm getting all cakey. I am King Triton. Okay. Soak it up. It feels weird making a cooking video and not play music. Do you guys play music in your kitchen? I always play music in my kitchen. It's like a must. 
and YouTube has all these rules about music in their videos. So unless like I own the rights to the music, you know, I can't really play anything. Unless it's like my husband's music and I've already heard that so much. So it's like eerily quiet right now as I'm recording this video. <laughs> so as fun as it is, watching me batter, at least try to batter eggplant, I'm just gonna put this on hyperspeed. Okay, I'm gonna try some of the zucchini now. This is a messy dish. I get gooey fingers. Okay. I need more egg and breadcrumbs. <laughs> Hang on. Like I said, I watch a lot of YouTube and I follow quite a few people. I like to follow Six Sisters Stuff. They do Instant Pot recipes. I am a huge fan of the Instant Pot. And they're into freezer meals. So I prepped a bunch of freezer meals not too long ago. And those have been a lifesaver. When you're tired and you don't really feel like cooking a big meal, I just take them out of the freezer and pop them in. Easy peasy. Alrighty. I think I got a little over my head here. So we'll see. I feel like I'm already failing. <laughs> All right, Mr. Zucchini. Into the egg bath you go. Okay, breadcrumbs. Right. Now the trick to a good fry is your oil has to be really hot. So even when you think it's ready, it's not ready. It needs to get like scorching hot. So I didn't forget about it over there. It's just getting nice and hot for the fry. Have you ever made eggplant parmigiana before? Let me know. How'd it come out? Let me know if I totally disappointed you or if I made you proud. <laughs> I wonder how much I'll need to fill up my pan. I was at Kohl's the other day. My mom said, hey, Lorinda, I, uh, oops, I think I wasn't supposed to put that back in the flour. Oh, well. Um, my mom told me that she had $10 in Kohl's cash that um, she didn't need if I wanted it. And I'm like, yeah, you could always find something. So um, they had a really pretty serving dish there. I was actually going for pot holders because I just don't know where the heck my pot holders are. I think I forgot to put this in the egg. I can't talk and cook at the same time. Anyways, I was going for pot holders because I can't find mine. And um, I already put this in the flour. Oh my God. Get with it, Lorinda. Like I said, I was looking for pot holders. And <laughs> I couldn't seem to find any that I really liked, let alone the ones I did like. They were like $20 for one pot holder. Even with my $10 off, I couldn't see spending $10 for one pot holder. I'm like, eh. So then I'm walking around the store trying to figure out what to get with my Kohl's cash. And I saw a really pretty, like, um, I thought it was a serving dish, but it was actually a baking dish. And it was really pretty, and it was normally like $50. And um, it was on clearance for $24. And then I had 20% off. 
and ten dollars in Kohl's cash I think I got it for like 12 bucks or something um, really cheap so that's what I'm going to bake this in today so you will see that in a few minutes this breadcrumbs smell so yummy so once again hyperspeed I feel like this is an absolute disaster right now. <laughs> Making something you've never made before. Why I chose to make this for my first cooking video, I do not know. <laughs> but hey, that's how we learn. I have uh, two teenage sons, 19 and 16, and they can eat. <laughs> Seems like I go to the grocery store so much as it is. And right now with the coronavirus, I don't want to go. I don't want to go to the store. But you kind of have to. I actually went today to Sam's Club because they had some pots and pans that I thought were on sale today. But the sale actually doesn't start till tomorrow. So I was just walking around anyways to see what they had. And they didn't even have the pans that I wanted anyways. But um, it was so crowded. And um, everybody was going crazy again, buying toilet paper and paper towels. Like, everything was just flying off the shelves again. I'm like, what the heck? In case you didn't know, like, California, like, everything got shut down again yesterday. So I think everybody's in panic mode again. But everything was already kind of shut down. Just now the whole state is, not just our county. I think I'm done. If I need more, oh well. <laughs> I want to get ready to fry. Look at all the goodies we're gonna fry. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so now we're gonna go over to the pan that I have the oil that has been heating up while I've been breading this hot mess over here. And um, we're gonna start to fry. Starting with the zucchinis first because that's just what's on top. <laughs> and I think you just go a couple minutes on each side. Actually, I'm gonna pop in an eggplant.
just until they get golden brown. This is an eggplant, and I think this one's ready. smell of fried foods. Reminds me of the fair. Speaking of the fair, this week the Orange County Fair was supposed to start and it didn't because of COVID. Last year was the first year I entered my vegetables into the Orange County Fair and I won like 12 blue ribbons, a bunch of second place, a bunch of third place, and even I got best of show for my Cubanelle peppers. Um, so I was really looking forward to entering my veggies this year and just couldn't happen because of the stupid virus and people can't keep their damn masks on their face. It's ridiculous. All these people going crazy because of the masks. You know, I saw a meme like, I don't want to wear a bra, but you know, I don't wear it for me, I wear it for you. You know, same thing with the masks. I hate wearing this mask, but you know, there's always something that we just have to do even though we don't want to because it betters humanity. And this is just something we have to do. It also helps if you have a really cute mask. Like I have my mask with my little bees on it. I just love it. Um, my friend Janine made it. Um, she makes masks. She's been selling so many masks. Uh, so I'll link, uh, I think her website below if I have it. Um, it's Zero Dark 30 It's her Facebook page. She's a seamstress, very talented. Alrighty, I hear ya. Do you ever get scared when you fry things? I always get scared I'm gonna get blasted in the face with oil. You know, my son, my youngest son, he has um, some freckles on his face. And when he was little, um, he asked me, you know, what they were. And I told him they're bacon birds. I said, you love the smell of bacon so much, one day you went to smell bacon, and he got splattered in the face. And that's what all those <laughs> little dots are, are bacon burns. It's kind of a joke in our house. These are some big eggplants. It's kind of awkward though to cook the long skinny ones instead of, you know, the big fat round ones. Those might be a little better for eggplant parmigiana, which is traditional, the big round ones, but hey, this is what I got. That one looks good to me. The Italian grandma that I follow on YouTube, she calls zucchini, zucchina. It's kind of funny. So since she's been saying that, I've been calling it zucchina. And basil, she calls it basilla. Everything has an A. Make sure you stay hydrated. It is hot in this kitchen. I'm terrible at drinking water. Are you good at drinking water? Not me. I have to force myself to drink water. I never feel thirsty. Even when I am thirsty, I just don't feel thirsty. Fry, 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 fry. I wanna try one of these so bad. One won't hurt, right? Ah. Mmm. This is a 
zucchini one. That is delicious. I'm actually glad I got the panko crumbs instead of the regular bread crumbs because the texture of it is really good. It's really crunchy. Mm. That's delicious. Need some ranch. Oh, making a mess. <laughs> okay, guys, look. Look at all the fried goodness. All this is all fried up and we got our basil and our spinach right there. And this is the pretty pan that I got at Kohl's. And we got some Parmesan cheese and some, I think that's hard Parmesan cheese. I was looking for Romano but they didn't have it. So eh, we'll use both of those cheeses. Okay, plenty people. Now that everything's all fried out, now we start putting together the eggplant parmesan casserole. So, like I said, this is a pretty pan uh, baking dish that I got at Kohl's. Look at the cute little hearts on it. It's by um, Aisha. I don't know if she's a celebrity, I don't know, but you can beat it for $12, normally $50. I'm such a bargain hunter. Okay, and for the sauce, I'm going to use Priano, AKA Aldi's brand. <laughs> this is just tomato and basil sauce. So, let me see if I have muscles to open this up. Oh, and I do. And you know, I love to keep these jars because they have measurements on the side, the glass jars. Um, so I use this for all kinds of stuff. So I'm just right now gonna drizzle some of the sauce on the bottom here. get a spatula so I can stir that around. So I'm just gonna kinda smear it around, coat the bottom of the pan. I'm gonna put that right there for now. Okay, and I'm just gonna start layering my eggplant on the bottom. But I have the zucchini too, so let me think about how I'm gonna do this. So I think I'm gonna do eggplant, zucchini, eggplant, zucchini. That'll work. Put the zucchini rounds in the middle. They smell so good. I wish you guys can smell this. Why do they not have smell vision yet? Seriously. We're 2020, come on. So now I'm gonna put some more sauce. Oops. Just kind of smear this around. This sauce actually smells pretty good. All right, now I'm gonna put some cheese. Just enough to coat it, pretty much. You don't want a super thick layer, unless you love cheese. I mean, we love cheese, but it's gonna have plenty with the layers that we got going. Okay, then the um, spinach and basil that we cut up. I'm gonna kind of toss this together because I did put it together. Then I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle this in there. Mmm, the basil smells so good. And other than the cheese, this is a vegetarian type dish. So, then hard Parmesan. Okay, 
You know what? And I am going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. Got my pink sea salt right here. And my peppercorns. All right. Then we're going to do the layer all over again. No, I think I have one more eggplant. So we're gonna put these eggplants in the middle. Then I'm gonna put some of these zucchini around the sides. Get down in there. And maybe these three zucchini over here, my kids and I can munch on. Mm, that breading is so delicious. it in the oven since everything is already cooked we're just kind of heating it up right. running out of sunlight here this would even be good with like some ricotta cheese too smeared in the middle like like a lasagna does this look? Oh, doesn't this look gorgeous? So delicious. Now my kitchen, on the other hand, is a disaster. I've been trying to clean as I go, and I actually think I'm doing pretty good, but uh, you should see my sink. That's not pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna cover this with foil and pop it in the oven. Just cover it with my foil and pop it in the oven. It's been preheated for a long time already. I probably preheated it way too soon. Wow, this is heavy. Into the oven it goes. For 20 minutes. Now I get to clean up all this mess. I told you my appliances sing to me. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, that looks delicious. I think I'm going to leave it in there for another couple minutes so it can get toasty.
I still am learning how to use this oven. Okay guys, look at this. Look how beautiful this looks. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> okay, I need to get a plate. And spatula. Goodness. Super hot. Mmm, that sauce has big chunks of tomato. Really good. Sorry. I know it's not nice to eat in front of people. <laughs> There you have it. Yard to table. Pick the veggies, fry the veggies, bake the veggies, not eating the veggies. Well, thank you guys for watching me through this whole process cook something that I have never cooked before, let alone have ever eaten before. And I think it's a success. So thank you guys. I really appreciate you guys watching this. <laughs> If you haven't yet, get out and grow something, and then you can cook that something. <laughs> Take care. We'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share me with your friends. Bye.